Hi there, welcome to edupediaworld.com. You are watching the videos on quadrilaterals. So in this video, we will discuss more of the theorems which are useful in quadrilaterals to solve the problems related to parallelograms or any quadrilaterals you can see in that question. So let's discuss our first theorem now. The theorem one, number one says that in a parallelogram, opposite angles are equal. So we need to prove that opposite angles are equal. So let's see how we can prove this. First, let's draw the parallelogram like this. Now, let's say we have a parallelogram, so opposite sides are equal and parallel. We can say that. And let's draw another diagonal. Okay, and let's name it as A, B, C, and D. Now, we need to prove that angle A equals to angle C. So, we need to prove. Now, let's say how we can prove this. So, for convenience, let's mark this as angle 1. This mark, Let this mark this angle as 2 this 3 and let's this mark an angle as 5 angle 4 and angle 6 so that it is convenient to prove <coughs> now so let's now consider how we can prove this so consider triangle let's say ABD so we can say that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 5 equals to 180 degree let it be first equation similarly if you consider triangle BDC we can say that angle 4 plus angle 3 plus angle 6 equals to 180 degree let it be second equation then now we can clearly see that angle 2 equals to angle 4 again since AB is parallel to CD, so they form a pair of alternate angles. Why? Because AB is parallel to CD and BD is transversal. Right? Now, similarly, we can say that angle 5 equals to angle 6. So, angle 3 I'm so sorry for that it's angle 3 now again it's alternate angles okay now so we can substitute the values in the equation now before substituting the values in the equation we can write since right hand side of the equations are equal so we can say that angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 5 will be equals to angle 4 plus angle 3 plus angle 6 why because the right hand side of the two equations are equal now from these two we can say that angle 2 equals to angle 4 means this angle is equals to angle 4 and angle 5 is equals to angle 3 so we can write this as angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 5 equals to angle instead of angle 4 we can write angle 2 and instead of angle 3 we can write angle 5 plus angle 6 so now this and this will get cancelled and this and this will get cancelled so we'll get angle 1 equals to angle 6 so we can say that angle 1 and angle 6 are pair of opposite angles so this is how we can prove that in parallelogram the opposite angles are equal so similarly same way you can prove that this angle equals to this angle by drawing a diagonal this way. So this is how we can prove that the opposite angles are equal in parallelogram. So let's discuss the next theorem, the theorem number two. Now, the theorem number two says that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. So we need to prove that this equals to this and this equals to this. So let's see how we can prove this. So it's given, first of all, it's an A, B, C, D is an parallelogram, right? Now, we need to prove that B, D or B, O equals to O, D and A, O equals to O, C. So, let's see how we can prove this. Now, if you consider triangle, a D O and triangle B O C we can say that 
AD equals to BC Y. We can clearly see that they are pair of opposite sides. Since it's a parallelogram, since it's a parallelogram, now we can say that this angle equals to this angle, or we can say that angle ADO equals to angle CBO. Why? Again, pair of alternate angles. Why alternate angles? Because these two sides are parallel and BD is a transversal. Similarly, we can say that angle D. AO equals to angle BCO. Again, a pair of alternate angles. So, we have three conditions, one, two, and three. Now, so this side and included side and two angles. So, we can say that triangle ADO is congruent to triangle BOC by a S A rule. So, we can say that now B O equals to O D and A O equals to O C by C P C T. So, we can say that now in parallelogram diagonals bisect each other. So, this is how we can prove these type of theorems. So, let's discuss the last theorem of this video, the theorem number 3. The theorem number 3 says that if the diagonals of a coordinator bisect each other, then it is a parallelogram. Now, it's not given it's a parallelogram. It's given that the diagonals, they are bisect each other of a coordinator. Now, we need to prove that it is a parallelogram. So, let's say first of all, what is given? It's given that OD equals to OB and OA equals to OC and we need to prove that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram, right? So, let's see how we can prove this. So, we need to discuss the proof. So, consider triangle A, D, O and triangle B, C, O. Now, it's given that O, D equals to O, B and AO equals to OC. This is given and this is also given and we can say that angle DOC equals to angle COB. Why? Because they are vertically opposite angles means this angle equals to this angle. So, we can say that triangle ADO is congruent to triangle BCO by SAS rule. So, these two triangles are congruent by SAS rule. So, we can say that now AD is equals to BC and AD is also parallel to BC by CPCT. Now, we can say that ABCD is a parallelogram. Why it's a parallelogram? Since if in a quadrilateral one pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel, then it's a parallelogram. So, this is how we can prove that. If, in a if the diagonals of quadrilateral bisect each other, so then it is a parallelogram. So, thank you once again for watching this video on edupediaworld.com. So, keep watching further videos. Have a nice day ahead.